Hello, my fellow yodeling yetis. I'm Mr. Church. Today we're not doing a build tutorial. Um, I will continue those in my next video. Today I'm going to be looking at some build mechanic that if it were possible to do would greatly enhance um, all of our builds and would bring so much uniqueness uh, to each build and individuality that we can't currently do. Or can we? Um, and that is placing junk items in your camp. Now, this is a work in progress, and it's something that I've almost figured out, but not quite. I'm going to show you what I did to get this effect in my camp, and then I'm going to, at the end, I'm going to show you why it's not actually viable to do, and you can all be disappointed because I waited until the very end to show you that. You can say, hey, you just clickbaited me. And I'll be like, well, no, this is the disclaimer for that. Don't get your hopes too high. They will be dashed to pieces on the rocks. But I figure you guys love disappointment. Otherwise, why would you be watching a video for Fallout 76? Now, what you see when you merge this into another display case is the items inside it pop up to the top. This means we can do a lot with those pieces. So what you're going to do is merge them so that they pop up to the top and then drop merge the display case into the foundation to hide that display case. Now there's a couple of different things you can do. In this uh, clip here, I'm showing you that you can do it a little bit so that um, then you just line it up with like the top of a desk, for example. And then what I'm gonna do is once it's fully lined up with that, uh, I can burn the display case and then put that uh, desk through it so that it you know the stuff on top looks like it's sitting on the desk now while I do this I will say uh, we've been asking to place junk items in our camp since the game came out and because of this shocking disconnect between the developers at Bethesda gaming studios and the Fallout 76 player base they thought that meant that we want boxes to put four perfectly placed and spaced apart items uh, as if our house is some kind of fucking colonial museum and um, we're surprised when in fact that's not what we meant and we actually meant well look around in the goddamn world that we're playing in you will see junk scattered here and there not placed in a four grid pattern of perfectly positioned and centered items and you can tell a story with how those junk items are placed. But as you can see, this looks amazing, and this is the kind of thing that I've always wanted to be able to do, is put, you know, uh, a typewriter on my fucking desk. See how much life this adds to this small, little space. You can see exactly what I've been doing on that desk. It, it isn't, you know, completely empty with one lamp on it, like we our desks always have to be, because we have the ability to put junk on them. Now, at this point in this process, I was getting a real stiffy, and you know what I mean, when you just, just start to feel that special feeling deep down inside. I've made a breakthrough, you know, this is going to change camp building for uh, so many people, and it's gonna be a great new addition uh, for the bag of tricks that we like to, you know, hold in our hands, uh, sweating profusely as we're shoving potato chips into our mouth and screeching like a fucking pterodactyl. If you don't do those things, I'm sorry for the stereotyping. I've spent enough time in area chat to know that it is a pastime of many Fallout 76 players, and I'm sorry for lumping you in with those people, uh, but I definitely have heard my share of prehistoric prattling. Now, I'm going to just be showing you there's a couple of different ways that you can do this exact merge. And I will say, because I didn't state this yet, if you want to place a display case or anything on top of a display case, you have to blueprint that item you want to place on it with a floor something and place the blueprint on it. You can't just set it down. It's not going to place. Um, and I'll link the video where I got that information from. I didn't come up with that, but I've been playing with techniques 
that I've learned from other content creators. And this is just one of the many things you can do um, with the ability to have junk items floating. Now, Fallout 76, um, the building in it is, you know, pretty unique. And the player base is pretty unique, as I've already mentioned with the, you know, pterodactyl stuff. But, like, if you think about it, it's post-apocalyptic. Junk is a huge part of the game, it always has been. And having the ability to place junk items would also incentivize the junk grind. We would be going out and actually finding junk to put in our camps. That would be fun, you know? There's something to do besides killing the Scorch Beast Queen in seven seconds because they buffed legacies. Because they weren't hitting hard enough. Um, and that's fair, you know? Sometimes I'm like, well, what the fuck? That took 15 seconds to kill? That is... I don't have time for this. So luckily now we can just drop it quicker than I dropped my pants that one. Well, actually, I'm not supposed to talk about that anymore. Um, so let's move on uh, to, you know, this is just one example. And then if you want to do, you know, have a bunch of stuff on one surface, you could probably merge uh, some of these together. Um, and I'm going to be making like a table with like a some person was sitting here. But think about how much work I'm going through to do this, and also keep in mind, remember, by the way, this is going to be yanked out from underneath you because I'm going to show you at the end why this doesn't actually work in your camps and you wouldn't want to do this. Um, but I'm waiting for the end so that you can be dis as disappointed as I was. Um, well, actually, less, because I'm actually warning you. I, I thought this was going to work, you know? This is it's working so far, why wouldn't it? Um, so that looks awesome, right? Imagine if they gave us a display case that wasn't visible so that we could just set it on top of things and put stuff in it and we could position it this way. Now you could walk up to it and inter interact with it. You could see it in build mode to delete it and move it around and stuff. Whoops, I didn't get that one quite low enough, but you can't really, who cares? Um, but like, imagine if the display cases they they added one that allowed us to just set junk in our camps it would be the same technique they wouldn't need to add a new system they wouldn't need to do anything crazy just reskin and and build a different display case that's smaller maybe it's like a mat like a flat thing that you can place down um, if this sounds so, like something interesting to you and the reason why i went through this video even though i realized it's not viable is i was hoping that if you guys you know, I saw some of the examples of what you can do when you can place junk in your camps. If you don't already uh, have some ideas there, maybe it could be something worth sharing and uh, spreading around and saying, Hey, um, at Bethesda Gaming Studios, uh, you know that game that we like to play despite your best efforts to make it miserable for us? Um, this would be something that would improve the quality of life for all the camp builders, you know, because it's that thing that we've been begging on our hands and knees, you know, naked with blood stains on us since the game came out to please add. Um, could you just let us fucking do it? There's so much junk, in, like it's, it's a fucking junk based hoarder's paradise game. Why wouldn't junk be part of the, the base building? Um, when you have a bunch of people saying, hey, can you please let us place junk in the camps and you give us display cases that look like they came from a colonial museum, I get a little confused. Uh, did you think we wanted to like put on display musket balls or something or like Civil War era dresses? Because we can't put those dresses into, we can't put clothes in the display cases either. So I don't know what the point of that was. Um, I'm just confused. Like, do you think that's what we wanted? We wanted a fucking museum display box for our camp. Yeah, let's put that next to the lazy boy in the kitchen. I've seen a lot of those in many people's houses. Believe me. So that, yeah, that, I guess that makes sense, right? Wait, huh? So, like, maybe if there was a little bit of maybe... I don't remember what it's called. Like, when you, like, listen to what the players want and do that. Because, like, they're the ones playing the game and funding it with their all their... Atom shop purchases and scoreboard advancements and stuff like that. But look how much more life it brings to a junky 
uh, workshop area. You can really bring that clutter in, and there's so much junk items that look awesome in, in a junky setting. Uh, there's so many cool junk items that can be used um, for this. But let's look at what I did um, so you can see some examples. So if you look here, you I kind of showed how I did this already, so you saw um, I placed the um, kettle and the pan on the uh, oven a little bit lower and then over here this desk I love how this desk turned out but I've always wanted to be able to place a typewriter on a desk it was just there's just so much that that adds just there and um, you know the guy sitting reading the paper eating his sugar bombs which do look like mold I couldn't you know that's spoiled food I couldn't find a bowl of cereal um, and then the, the kit uh, that's that's not a kitchen <laughs> if you think that's the kitchen uh, something's wrong with your eating habits. Uh, this is a bathroom. That's correct. Over here is a bedroom. I'm getting my rooms correct this time. And I put some stuff on the bed, and I also put some stuff on the desk. Just to, you know... But this is my favorite here. The, the junkiness. Look how much shit the shittiness brings to the shit build. I love this shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna come over to your house tomorrow and show you some examples of what you can really do with this uh, with with junk placement in camp i don't uh, listen if you've made it this far in the video i really appreciate it thank you so much but it's time for your hearts to be broken because i'm going to show you why this isn't viable this doesn't work because uh you can't actually keep your uh, your junk items that way um, so what happens is, you know, soak it in, take one last look at it, <laughs> say goodbye to hours of, of hard work, um, because, uh, the glitch that I came up with is a workaround, um, goodbye, cruel world, no, as a workaround for placing junk, it doesn't work. I'm still in the process of it, and in fact, if you guys have any uh, suggestions of how this could be fixed let me know in the comments section but here's the problem display cases um, load in and then they load the junk in them because that stuff is your stuff what that does is it resets everything in the display case every time you load in it I think it checks the stuff and that might be something extra added because there was a lot of duplication going on using display cases so there might be some extra checks in there, but whatever the case may be, however it's happening, I don't know exactly the mechanics. Anytime the camp reloads, so this means if you join a new world, or if you deactivate your camp and reactivate it, um, it reloads those display cases and the items are placed down in them where they're supposed to be. That means they're not on top of them. That means all this merging we did... <laughs> Completely undone. You can see the Nuka-Cola bottle down there sticking out of the ground. Um, and that's heartbreaking. But, you know, it, I mean, you can still use this technique if, like, you're going to film something or for one specific case you want some junk sitting out and you know you're going to be in that world for a while. But for an actual build that you want persistent, that's not going to be viable. And, um, like, the plunger handle sticking out. Oh, good, and, and there's not even wallpaper on this wall anymore. Sweet. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's just... Look at these builds in the emptiness, and remember like how much life there was with the clutter there, and think about like how much better this could be. Right? If we had junk. But I wanted to make this video even though I was disappointed and realized, oh wow, all the stuff I just did doesn't actually work. Uh, because I want to show you guys, first of all, here's like video example of how good it could look if we could put junk in our camps. Um, and how close I came, you know, and it's like that one night when I was like, oh, but then no, you know, and that was disappointing. Um, but also like if you guys can figure out a way to keep it persistent, then this is viable, you know? If there's a way to keep that stuff merged up how it was, I don't know, there might be a process that can be done. Um, also, this could be shared, this could be spread, tell Bethesda, hey, uh, remember how we asked to have junk items that we could place in our camps and you said, 
here's a box. Well, this is actually what we meant. Um, that might be helpful. If you, um, you know, are not yet subscribed, uh, consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much to my patrons for your support. Uh, you guys have stuck with me longer than um, you should have, probably. Uh, I stream on Twitch. Follow me there for dumb streams and uh, watching me be stupid. Um, I'll be building more content for your watcher enjoyment soon, and I'll see you in the next video.